Well, give the Lord a praise this morning. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a day the Lord has made. It's one day closer to the resurrection. Even so, come quickly, Lord Jesus. Let's go home. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Now, we started yesterday talking about worry or care, anxiety, and being indecisive about things. And, uh, well, what are we going to do about that? Well, I don't know. What do you think? Well, I don't know. I don't know. You know, we might, I don't know, I don't understand. And, uh, well, make up your mind whatever you're going to do. This is my mind. I tell it what to think based on the book. So let's go back to 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. For we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, and don't ever come up and say, well, I'm only human, you know. Hmm. No, you're not. You're a new creature. That's what you are. Mm -hmm. If you know the Lord, if you don't, you better change that human stuff. It'll kill you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Early. Early. Yes, sir. Your mouth will kill you. Yes. So now here we go. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty. We have mighty power which, which to control our imaginations. We are not only human. That's my note at the, at, at, the, at the bottom of my Bible. For the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations or reasonings, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God bringing into captivity, how many thoughts? Every. Every thought to the obedience of Christ, yes. the anointed one and his anointing. <laughs> and that's on the inside of you, in your yes. spirit, yes. not in your mind. Having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience of what? A thought. When your obedience is fulfilled, do you look on things after their outward appearance? Now, let's let's go to the first Peter chapter five. <clears throat> Notice what it did not say in chapter ten. There's no mention of Lucifer, Satan, the devil in any of those strongholds. That's right. It's in your mind. Yes, sir. First Peter. And it's habits. Oh, that's good. Worry is a habit. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do about this. Oh, God, I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. Well, you know what? You don't know. Because the answer is not in your mind. I had to keep more to do this one time. He said, um, you go into a file cabinet and you, and you go back, and then you go back to the front. Then you take all the files out and you put them in there one at a time and then you take it back out. He said, uh, the answer to that is it's not in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So why do it? Why do it to your mind? Mm -hmm. It isn't in there. It's in here. Mm -hmm. These, were, there's, Here's where the answers are. But now listen to this. <clears throat> the elders which are among you I exhort who am also an elder. I would agree with that, sir. <laughs> mm -hmm. And a witness of the sufferings of Christ and also a partaker of the glory that, that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking oversight thereof, not to constraint willingly or for money. Now, verse four, when the chief shepherd shall appear, you shall receive a crown of glory that fades not away. Likewise, you younger, submit yourselves to the elder. All of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. That's the first step. Mm -hmm. I humble, Lord, I humble myself before you right now. Mm -hmm. For God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. Yeah. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares 
for you. Now stand by one. And we'll go to here. And we'll go to First Peter 5 and 6. This is in the classic amplified. Therefore, humble yourselves, demote, lower yourselves in your own estimation under the mighty hand of God that he may in due time exalt you. Can't, listen. Casting the whole of your care. Are you listening? You professional warriors. <laughs> <laughs> Casting the whole of your care, all your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all on, well, you know, I'm not worried about it, but I'm just concerned. <laughs> no, the Lord doesn't want you to be concerned either. This is his business. Once and for all on him, for he cares for you affectionately and cares about you watchfully. Be well balanced, temperate, sober of mind. Be vigilant and cautious at all times for that enemy of yours, the devil roams around like a roaring lion in fierce hunger, seeking someone to seize upon and devour. Withstand him. Be firm in faith against his onset. Establish strong immovable. Don't let him put it back on you. Yeah, that's right. Casting all of it. Right. Get rid of it. Mm -hmm. And Gloria and I have learned to do this. It, it, you have to practice it. And stay there. You, just, you don't touch it anymore. And the, the, the greatest example, there was a time when we got behind on our television build, and back in those days, there was so much of it. Uh, this is before satellites and, mm -hmm. and all of that. <clears throat> and our, our, our TV bill was um, something like $2 million a month. And, and so we were doing it a little at a time, and, but it, it got behind and got behind $6 million. Mm -hmm. And uh, I waited until the night before the, the board meeting the next day. Well, <laughs> George Pearson's a, a CEO, of course, he still is today. He sent me the, to, to review the board meeting and so I went, Glory had already gone to bed. And so here's this department. Best year we've ever had. Best year we've ever had. Best year TV department. Minus six million dollars. Best year we've ever had. Best year you've ever had. And the Lord said, see, the one you tried to carry flopped. Mm. He said, you didn't, you didn't hand that one to me. He said, I'm your caretaker. There it is. I will take your care. I will take your worries. I said, we're going to be about to change that. So I, I hollered at Gloria. She was, she was already in bed asleep. I said, Gloria Jean, look what I did. <laughs> I looked at it. And I said, let's get an agreement over this. So we agreed. I was in the habit of worrying about that. I went to this scripture right here mm. and 1 Peter 5. Mm. And I just started saying, glory to God, I don't have that care. That six million is gone in the name of Jesus. I don't touch that in my thought life. Now, this, this is the key to it. I don't touch it in my thought life. No, 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 I don't think about that anymore. And I said, no, no, you get out. I put you, I put you in... In, in, do you remember what it said? And I uh, put you in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back over there because this is this is a huge key. And uh, casting down imaginations against the knowledge of God, bringing into captivity yes. every thought. Yes. I said, no, 
No, no. And in my mind, I just imagine. I, I just put you, I just slam the, I slam the jail doors on you. You can't get out. No, I'm not touching you. Mm-hmm. And it was the, the first few days there, it just, it'd just pop up because I had allowed it into my mind. Mm-hmm. And I, I said, no, no, no. And, and I'd take the Bible and I'd say, devil, do you see what the book says? And do things like, in case you can't read, let me read this to you. <laughs> After two weeks, it was just a, a, a kind of a faint thought, and it was gone. You'd surrounded it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You surrounded it with different words. That's what you do. That's how with you take it captive. Faith, thoughts. That's it. Mm-hmm. I'm more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. Glory to God. He meets all of my needs according right. to his rich and glory by Christ Jesus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just kept saying it, kept saying it. <clears throat> and <clears throat> and then during that board, board meeting, I apologized to everybody. Well, then they picked it up. Mm. Now, in record time, think about it now. You got to get ahead of it six before you gain on it. They said it would be something, it'd be something like four or five years, the analyst said, before you could ever catch up with it. No, no, no. It was a matter of weeks. Mm. It was a matter of weeks. Mm. And that that was paid, and then, now listen, class, you too, you're not a worrier anymore. For the first time in the history of this ministry, not only was that six million out of the way, for the first time we paid the TV bill in one check. Amen. (laughs) Amen. Glory to God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He'll do that for you. He'll do that for you. Anyone. Yes. He'll do it. Because it's this. It's from now, here. My mother was in a, in, she was used to worrying about me. Mm-hmm. Until one day. <laughs> Somebody needs to hear this. She said, that's it. I have prayed for him the last time. If he goes to hell, it's your fault. Gloria got saved two weeks later and I got saved the week after that. <laughs> yeah, she's been doing this. Oh, look at Kendall. Oh, he's going to hell. Oh, he's not going to make it. Oh, no, no. Oh, he cried over Kendall. Cried. And she just threw her Bible down and said, that's it. If he goes to hell, it's your fault. Mm-hmm. I can just hear the Lord. Well, it's about time uh, to turn this thing over. I can do something about it now. I can do something about it now. <laughs> somebody, somebody needed to hear that. Yes, sir. Where their child is concerned. And realize. Now, now, now listen carefully. Over here. In 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance. Mm -hmm. We inherited this Mm -hmm. through an inheritance incorruptible, undefiled, that fades not away, reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time, wherein you greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptations. Let the trial of your faith being much more precious than that of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found under praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Lord Jesus Christ, whom have, having not seen you love, in whom through, though now you see him not, yet believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, yes. even the salvation of your soul. Yes, Lord. sir. 
soul, your mind, your will, and your emotions, yeah. and he deals with it in the fifth chapter. Yes. Verse four, to an inheritance yes. incorruptible and undefiled that faith is not away, reserved in, he in heaven for you. Wait, where, where is it? Your inheritance. There it is. To an inheritance, to an inheritance, to an inheritance. Inheritance is covenant. I am the seed of yes. Abraham. Yes. I am a son it's of God. It's an inheritance. Like, it's an inheritance. I can't, I can't have an inheritance if I'm not a son. Glory to God. And when you, when you see it cross-pollinated, <laughs> when you have the apostle Peter and the apostle Paul saying, it together. saying the same thing, yes, sir. you know it's from the spirit of God. So that to check it out, you can go back to the book of Galatians. Oh, yes, sir. That's <laughs> my favorite. And uh, in the uh, third chapter, yes. after verse 25, but after faith has come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster, for you are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. For as many as you have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ, for there is neither Jew nor Greek, neither bond nor free, neither male nor female, for all are in Christ Jesus. And if you be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. There it is. There's your inheritance. Now we're talking about new covenant. Yes. See, it's been done now yes. by the blood. Yes. This, is a, this is not a hope for in the future. This is a now. This is a present day reality. Let me pop you back to 2 Peter. Here's where people are weak, right here. 2 Peter chapter 1, uh, verse 11. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's been done. Wherefore, I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though you know them, be established in the present truth. Mm. Present truth is, what, you know, what we talked about in this book, God, the covenant, and the contradiction. The present truth is Jesus became the contradiction. Mm -hmm. The present truth is I am the son of God. I am the righteousness. I don't have worry. I don't have care. That's the present truth. I'm beginning to realize who I am in him. Now, he said to cast all of your care. Yes, sir. I picked up a line from Monty Walsh. Mm -hmm. Tom Selleck played the part. He's a cowboy. And the big ranchers sent in this accountant. This was just messing up everything. And he said, uh, what is your name again? He said, Robertson. He said, well, Bob, I just can't tell you how much I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so I picked up on that. I said, devil, uh, what's your name again? <laughs> I just can't tell you how much I don't care. Because let me read you something. By his stripes I was healed and I'm healed now. That's now let's talk about your future. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cast into a lake of fire, burning forever and ever and ever and ever. Now get out of my face. That's it. Praise God. This present truth is my reality in Christ Jesus right now. I'm the, the covenant of Noah. I don't live under the covenant of Noah. Noah was righteous in his generation. Now, we've got things like Noah happening in the world today. Jesus warned us about it. We'll talk about it later. But I'm not, I'm not under the, the agreement uh, that Moses had. No. I'm, I, am, I'm, I am tied to the one with Abraham. Paul just told us that. Yes. The, the Eden, all the others, all of those have been culminated in one person, Jesus Christ, of whom I am, mm -hmm. and he's in me. And so as a result of that, that's my present truth. And when I live in my present truth, I'm not trying to mix things together. Mm -hmm. I'm staying with what the word says about me right now here in these epistles. We are 
according to scripture, the wild olive branch. That's correct. That's been grafted in to the true. Now, when you graft in, then you become part of the root system. That's correct. So our root is we've been redeemed from the curse of the law by Christ Jesus. Yes. I am a Christian. Mm-hmm. And therefore, Israel is my root. Absolutely. And when it says Israel, it means Israel. Yes. They have not been replaced. That's right. Mm-hmm. And we've talked about it before. It's not the state of Jacob. Mm-hmm. It right. is the state of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. Mm-hmm. Only one nation was born out of World War II. That's right. The nation of Israel. World War I was fought over the same thing. That's right. General Allenby opened it up. They wouldn't go home. They said, why should we? We're war heroes. And we've, we've, we've done well. And um, it was a, in Germany some, was some defeated. Some did, but not in, not in big. Germany yeah. was defeated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they just continued and but then it was like Joseph of old. After a while, they, the Pharaoh forgot about Joseph. Mm-hmm. Well, after a while, they forgot about those war heroes. Mm-hmm. And so they inherited Hitler. He was in World War I. The corporal. Yeah. And his generals, his... Uh, the main uh, staff officers said the day they lost the war is when he declared war on the United States. They knew it. So did the Japanese. Admiral Yamamoto spoke fluent English, was naval attache uh, for Japan when they were our allies in Washington, D.C. He begged them. He said, don't, don't fight these people. Well, they're decadent. He said, no, don't, you have no idea what they're capable of. Because he had seen our manufacturing capabilities. He said, don't do it. We were a united country. Whenever anything gets in unity, any group of people get in unity, God shows up. Acts chapter two, they were in mm-hmm. unity and God showed up. Go back to the Tower of Babel. Yes. They got in unity, heathen got in unity. God showed up. He said, we must go see what they, what they do because yep. nothing will be impossible. They, nothing's impossible. That's right. That's why that's in our name, United States. Mm. We can't let anybody divide us. That's right. And we're on our way. Yes, sir. Yeah. We're on our way. Yeah. And the Supreme Court now has, has been put in place to turn these things around. Yes. But you have to remember, it's not flesh and blood. That's right. Satan is a serial killer. Yes, he is. He'll steal, kill, and destroy, Jesus said so. And we're out of time. But stop that worrying today. You just say it. My mind is my mind. My mind, my mind is my mind. I tell it what to think. I tell it what to think. I think according to the Bible. I think according to the Bible. This book, this book, are words, are words, covenant words, covenant words that I not only place in my heart, that I not only place in my heart, but in my mind. But in my mind. My mind is my mind. My mind is my mind. I have the mind of Christ. I have the mind of Christ. I think with his mind and not mine. I think with his mind. He's not worried about anything. He's not worried about anything. He is my caretaker. He is my caretaker. So I cast my care upon him. So I cast my care upon him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you.
I'm anxious about nothing. I'm anxious about nothing. We'll be back in just a moment. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, I have so much to do and so much going on. Without you, I don't know how to get it all done. And I know what your word says, but I just feel so overwhelmed with so many things. Lord, what do I do to overcome these obstacles? I need an answer. Holy Spirit, show me. This is your covenant guaranteeing peace, healing, provision, spirit, soul, body, financial, and every area of life. Stop accepting a single contradiction to a blood ratified covenant. I am loved by God. I am anointed. I am called. I do have the mind of Christ. I am made in his image. I am healed and I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Order God, the Covenant and the Contradiction book by Kenneth Copeland and Greg Stevens for only 19 pounds and 50 pence. Outside the UK, call for postage. Go to kcm.org.uk forward slash TV special or call 01-225-787-310. Now the bottom line of all of that is always by faith speak the end desired results. I'm strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I'm never anxious. I don't worry about anything because Jesus is my caretaker and he has taken all my cares and worries. And so we love you and God loves you and Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. Glory to God forevermore. Kenneth Copeland Ministries is here for you to help you grow spiritually and live in victory every day. Feed your spirit with God's word. Go to kcm.org.uk to watch or download the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. Read faith-based content in the Believer's Voice of Victory interactive magazine or in our daily devotional, From Faith to Faith, all available to you free. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. You have a free resource to help you study and apply the Bible-based truths you just heard. Download the BVOV broadcast study notes today at kcm.org.uk slash notes. Collect the notes from each week and use them in a group Bible study. Use the message outline to teach from. Discuss the scriptures and key points with your family of believers. Gain understanding from all the teachings on the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. Get the whole week of notes today at kcm.org.uk slash notes.